thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, for all, I would like to thank the organizer for inviting me uh, to present this talk. <coughs> my, my talk is about ring of uh, local ring of prime characteristic P and the center object in my talk is Fubernit glow of parameter idea. Yeah, I hope, uh, I hope uh, uh, after the, uh, this seminar, uh, uh, we, I will get several questions and maybe something discussion to take the uh, new project in the future with people here. Yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <coughs> the outline of my talk is, uh, is uh, I will talk about the uh, four, bin, four minute endomorphic and idea glow of very <coughs> and for four minute action on local cohomology in the last part. I will present the question and the shower in this topic. Yeah. In this talk, uh, we fix. I am denote a local ring of dimension D and of prime characteristic P. And I be an idea of R. Let Q is x1 to x sub D be a parameter idea of R. And Q is P to E is a forbidden node, is a power of P. Of course, the key in ingredient to study ring of primer characteristic is the four banner endomorphic F from R to R, this map X to its speed power. And we can check that F is endomorphic of the ring. <coughs> this is a key point. Uh, and uh, in this talk, we will always assume that the ring is F finite. It means uh, the four banner map is finite map. <coughs> and uh, the starting point to study ring of primer characteristic P is the theorem of Kuhn in uh, more than 50 years ago. It claims that a local ring of primer characteristic is regular if and only if the four banner endomorphic is flat and uh, it means the uh, F star R is free module, provided the ring is F finite. So Kuhn theorem says that we can study the regular and the singular of the ring uh, via the Fourbenot map. And we can define the F singularity of the ring in one of the two ways. The first way we can use the uh, four endomorphic to uh, or the four action on look and cohomology to define the singularity of the ring. The second way we can use the glow operator of idea to define the F singularity. We will use the four glow or type glow of idea. And uh, uh, now we will talk about the Fubinet power of I. Is I to bracket P is the extension of the idea I via the Fubinet endomorphic. That means I to bracket P is the idea generated by A to P for an I, for an A in I. And of course, for every Q is P to E, we can define the ether for Bennett power by the same way. And uh, now we uh, we talk about the for Bennett glow of I. We denote it by I to F. It defined by this formula, this formula. That means if the element X in I to F, the Fourbenet glow of I, it means if you apply the Fourbenet endomorphic, uh, 
uh, sometimes we will get the, the image of i, uh, the image of x is contented in the idea, the extension idea of i. And the idea is called Fourier glow if i is equal to the it Fourier glow. We have some z mark, z mark here. In fact, we can think the uh, an element x in the Fourier glow of um, i is a kernel of z composition. Z composition and is mean is a uh, important element. I mean, x is uh, an element of Fourier glow of i if it is become zero up after we apply for and endomorphic e time modulo i that means uh, x is important under four banner map modulo i and by the neutron this we have uh, some integral e depending on i such that we have uh, that the uh, for Bennett power P2E of e, E2F is equal to the for Bennett power of I. We have Z equality. The, sum, the smallest of such integral is called the for Bennett test exponent of I. And we will denote it by FTE I. FT, the for Bennett test exponent of I. Yeah. Ah, uh, similar. We can define the definition of Tycolo I star of I here by this formula. Okay, I will uh, uh, omit this formula because I think uh, people in here, uh, every people in here know the definition. Yeah, yeah. We note that uh, I is. is a sub-idea of Fourier glow, and Fourier glow is contented in uh, Thai glow, and Thai glow is uh, contented in integral glow of I. Yeah. <coughs> this, this is two uh, glow operator in characteristic P, is Fourier glow and Thai glow of I. And uh, we uh, move to the second part about the Fourier action on local cohomology. <laughs> Let I be an idea. We can define the local cohomology as a cohomology or check cohomology, check complex. This is check complex. And the Fourier endomorphism of ring R induces the Fourier endomorphism of each local direction. It localization and of course we have uh, the Fourier action on local cohomology and cohomology group and it is a natural Fourier action on local cohomology. It hard to understand the Fourier action on local cohomology, but for the top local cohomology, it mm, I, I think it's important get and easier than as a case, because we can think the top local cohomology, this is uh, the idea is generated by T element, A1 to AT, so here is top local cohomology. And we can think the top local cohomology as a direct limit of the quotient, this quotient. Yeah. And now we can see that we want to understand the phobia on the top local cohomology here and we think the local cohomology as a direct limit direct limit of this system <laughs> this system and the Fourier action on local cohomology is uh, the indeed Fourier action in here it's Fourier I I we can we can say that mm, this is not endomorphic of R to a, but it, I, 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 we can say that the particle here is the Fourier 
action uh, with with respect to the ring ah this is not for banner and homophobic on this ring this is not for banner on this ring this is for banner here uh, i said it uh, selective for banner action and we can see that uh, the map in the vertical is defined by this one here <coughs> so we have a four banner action on local cohomology and then now we can define the four banner glow of zero submodule of local cohomology this is by this formula and we can think that this is a set of important elements under four banner similar way we can define the type color of zero submodule of local cohomology module by this formula here we 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 multiply like uh, apply one more c in here and it should be noted that this define 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 of type color is a little bit different with uh, uh, the define of type color of Hochter in Hunuki for module, but here I use it a uh, natural for Bennett action. It's the same with the define of Hochter Hunuki for stop looking cohomology. <coughs> and in the case, the local cohomology is the maximum idea the maximum idea so the local cohomology is acting here so the local for the maximum idea the local cohomology is maximum is acting linear. so by a this our persons by a and limit number we know that uh, some important index is finite important index is finite so it means the four banner glow of zero sub module of local cohomology module is a can of this map for some e some e so uh, the sum the summulet of such integral is called the Hasson fire and Leibniz number of local cohomology and we can define the Hasson fire Leibniz number of the ring is a maximum of it. Hassan's survival in week number of local cohomology. <coughs> and uh, the, the uh, center question in my GSAR, in my G is the following. Let Q is parameter idea. And we are interested in the following problem. We want to understand the relation between the four binary glow of parameter idea, the type glow of parameter idea, and the four binary glow of zero submodule in local cohomology, and the type glow of zero submodule of local cohomology module. Because it well know that parameter idea is glow have many relation with local cohomology module. So I interest in this problem. For the important index, we also have a, the same question. You see, we can think about the relation between the four banner tab exponent of parameter idea and four banner tab exponent of the ring between the Hasson spire lyric number of local cohomology and the ring. Here we define the four banner tab exponent of the ring R is a Supermum of four banner tech exponent of parameter idea. We we don't know that this is finite or not. This is important question of Kratman and Sap. Here, this is a question. Uh, is a four banner tech exponent of parameter idea is finite for own ring. Own ring. Okay. Okay, so uh, here this is the main question in my GSA. Of course, some specific is no, no before. 
here for the top local cohomogy we know that it is well know that the type low of zero submodule not um, local top local cohomology module is this directly this directly meet it for parameter idea and for any idea i here we have uh, the same time for the four banner glow yeah okay do you have any question sorry okay no there, there is no question right now okay okay yeah, so yeah. later me okay so now we we will define some specific of f singularity this is uh, appear in my result is f rational f injective and f important ring i think f rational ring is defined by feather and what uh, uh, it mean <coughs> or and i uh, hear uh, an equine dimensional ring is a core f rational if every parameter idea is tight low is q style equal to q for own q parameter idea similar we can see uh, define the f injective ring is ring who for Bennett action on local cohomology module is injective for own i yet this is definition but we can translate to for Bennett glow of zero sub module this means the zero for Bennett glow of zero sub module of local cohomology is zero for all nine. <coughs> uh, the third uh, singularity in my talk is F important. We don't have uh, a lot of research for this drink, but this study by Blicker, Srinivas, and Takagi before. Uh, but uh, I found this F important ring is uh, very interesting. <coughs> class of f singularity so a local ring is f important if the four banner action on own lower local cohomology is important and also the four banner action on zero submodule of the top local cohomology is important it should be noted that four banner action on the top local cohomology module never important but here we consider only the type low of zero submodule. Type low of zero. Of course, you can translate the definition of F input uh, by using the full banner glow of zero submodule and the type low of zero submodule to define the F input and ring. <coughs> now we can see our main question. Our main question in the Cohen Macaulay case. In the Cohen Macaulay case, everything is clear. Here is a table. You can see that we have two ways to define the singularity by the glow operator of idea and the four action on the ring or the local cohomology. You can see that if the ring is F rational, we know that the definition is every parameter idea is uh, type glow. But current Smith proves that uh, it's equal, equivalent to that the, local, the ring is Cohen Macaulay and the zero submodule of as uh, the type glow of zero submodule of top local cohomology is zero. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, <coughs> for F injective, we also have uh, that. Uh, F injective, it means the four banner action on local cohomology is injective. This is defined. But it's not hard to put that in the Cohen Macaulay case. It is equal to that, equivalent to that every parameter idea is four banner glow. QF is equal to Q for own Q. And now for F important, here I translate the definition of F important in here. It means the zero submodule, uh, the four banner glow of zero submodule is equal to the type glow of zero submodule for all local cohomology. 
this is define define of uh, f nilpotent chain and in the cohen macaulay case we also have a that is equal equivalent to that for every parameter idea we have a that the four bennett glow and the type glow agree yet this is three class of f singularity glow with parameter idea and now uh, the last is nilpotent index I mean, Nipotin index, I will talk about four banner test exponent and the Hudson spiral element number. And if the ring is Cohen Maculay, the theorem of Kratman and Sat said that uh, the four banner test exponent is just the Hudson spiral and Liebig number. Yeah. So now, uh, what? What are the upper relation for non cohen macaulay ring? Non cohen macaulay ring. <coughs> so, because F rational ring is cohen macaulay ring, so what I consider is only the last three, the last three rows is about F injective, F nin potent, and the nin potent index for general ring, not cohen macaulay ring. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, here is some this are for non cohen macaulay ring. First, uh, this is I work with Simomoto. We pop that for any local ring. We, if every parameter idea is four banner color, then ring is F injective. Yeah, and there is moreover. There is a non equidimensional F injective ring. We have a non Fourier color parameter idea. So, if you now we return the previous slide, we see that in the Cohen Macaulay ring, we have this equivalent. But if the ring is not Cohen Macaulay, if the ring is not Cohen Macaulay, we have a one direction. If every parameter idea is four banner glow, then the ring is F nilpotent, uh, F injective. The converse is not true in general. The converse is not true in converse. But our counter example is non equidimensional ring, non equidimensional. So I be I I I believe if we start with the ring is equidimensional, F finite ring, then we have as it equality as it in uh, equality so the ring is f injective if and only if every parameter idea is for banner glow of what we want to we have one direction but but uh, for the uh, the direction from the left to the right we know that uh, by a theorem of Li Chuan Ma. This theorem says that if the ring is then like Cohen Macaulay, then F injectivity is the same with the condition every parameter idea is for Bennett color. So this question is have a positive answer for then like Cohen Macaulay. We don't know uh, any answer for. Uh, more general case, even in the case, the dimension of non Cohen Macaulay Lucot is one. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. Is uh, now we, is it theorem, but now we talk about F important ring. F important ring is more, uh, uh, our result is more nine, uh, nine than F injective because we have two directions. Here is a theorem with Thomas Posta. We put that, <coughs> suppose we start with an equidimensional F finite local ring, then ring is F important. If and only if every parameter idea we have that for Bennett glow is equal to Thai glow for every parameter idea. <clears throat> okay, for F important ring, uh, we 
we on we can study the four banner test exponent. Is uh, here is the theorem for four banner test exponent. It's it's uh, it's uh, weak, uh, a little bit weak uh, assumption that suppose we have a four banner action on local cohomology on lower local cohomology module is important. We don't mind the top local cohomology module. So this one we, we can set this condition is weakly f important. Weakly net important. So, so suppose the ring is weakly f important. Then the four banner test exponent of the ring is bounded. It's finite and less than this formula, this formula of the Hasson spiral and Leeuwen number. Here, yeah. so this is new case, the new case for uh, the finite of four banner tab exponent. Okay, <coughs> okay. So, uh, 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 <coughs> I will talk about some theorem, some result for four binary test exponent. The relation between the four binary test exponent and the Hasson spiral and Lewis number. We know that in the Cohen Macaulay ring, in the Cohen Macaulay ring, we know that Katman uh, and Sharp for four binary test exponent is the same with the Hasson spiral and Lewis number. <coughs> for the ring is not Cohen Macaulay. What happened? Uh, Hương and I hope that the Hudson spiral, uh, sorry, the four banner test exponent is always bigger than or equal to the Hudson spiral and Lewis number. Yeah. <coughs> In the uh, if the ring is then like Cohen Macaulay, if the ring is then like Cohen Macaulay. Uh, Huniki, Katman, Sap, and Zhao pop that the four banner test exponent is finite. It's finite. But no, it should be noted that uh, the proof of Huniki, Katman, Sap, and Yao is very complicated. They use a lot of technical in commutative algebra, such as D sequence, uh, fraction. Fraction, uh, fraction idea. Uh, uh, yeah, fraction length. Sorry, fraction length. A lot of things. Very hard to follow. But <coughs> recently, uh, I with Thomas Pocha we define the selective for Bennett action on local cohomology module, and we I pop. Uh, the four banner tab exponent of ring is finite in the both case if the ring is then like Cohen Macaulay and weakly F important as uh, the city the weakly F important in here. And I also see a very simple proof for in the case the ring is then like Cohen Macaulay. Z proof, the theorem of Huniki, Katman, and Sap, yeah and using the technique where the new technique where to put this one and very simple hope that uh, FTR is finite <coughs> after that MacDoc uh, general uh, my theorem uh, for uh, the gate ring is general weekly F important ring yeah this is on on glow on glow theorem for f uh, of four banner test exponent <coughs> so the main question of Katman and sap still open why open i think that, uh, it open even in the gate the ring is uh, have uh, the dimension of non cohen macaulay look good is one is still open yeah so now <coughs> this is table for general case for general case for any local ring now this out here is for f -Zassina. 
we uh, know that. We say, well, I know that. Okay. No. If the ring is F injective, we have uh, that. Uh, if parameter idea is full bandwidth glow, then the ring is F injective. This direction is not true in general, but it should be noted that counter example here is uh, for non coin a uh, non equidimensional ring. Yeah, wow. so it's, it's still open for equidimensional ring. Yeah, for F important ring, it's more beautiful, more beautiful. It almost the same with F Yeah, we have this equality. Yeah. The ring is F important if and only if mm. every parameter idea we are rather for Bennett glow is equal to Thai glow. Oh. Every parameter idea. <coughs> uh, and uh, the four banner test, sorry? Uh, there is a question, uh, Kwai. Yeah, uh, yeah. From, from Saloni Singh. Uh, uh, sorry, so I, 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 I can read it. Maybe I, yeah. I will need yeah. If it. If FTER, FTER is finite, then yeah, yeah. generalized cone macaulay is something like that true? Sorry? Uh, if if FTER is finite, can yeah. you imply that the ring is generalized cohen macaulay uh, FTR is yeah, finite. It, it, yeah. Can it force the ring to be generalized cohen macaulay No. No. Is, is no, no. If the ring is generalized cohen macaulay then FTR is finite. Uh -huh. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. is not true. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. The question of Katman Sap is that FTI is always finite for own ring, for any okay. ring. Any ring. This is an open question. Okay. Thank okay. You. Here you can see that this is another case. The ring is not then like Cohen Macaulay, but FTI is finite. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. So in general, for an important index, we all only have this inequality that for Bennett, FTR is always bigger than the Hasson spiral and Lewick number yeah. of the ring. Yeah, thank you. OK. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I don't know the time. OK. Sorry. No, that's fine. Uh, Sorry. Wait. Any questions? Sorry. Yep. You can open your mic and ask questions. Yeah, yeah. Well, the slack. Uh, okay. Yeah, so can can FTER be expressed in terms of other numbers? Can? So, I mean, this equality, you mentioned a case where it is an equality. FTER is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this, this uh, is, is this an equality uh, sometime? Uh, I, I, I don't think it uh, become uh, equality. For I mean general, oh, of course, if the ring is Cohen Macaulay, we have equality, but I don't think it is equality here. Yeah. yeah, and and to check inject F injectivity, uh, can't we pick one parameter ideal and test it? Sorry, F injectivity, F injectivity is a condition on all parameter ideals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If every parameter idea is four planet close and ring is F injectivity. Yeah, but uh, are there situations where we can just pick one parameter ideal and test F injectivity? Uh, sorry, I don't know. The, I don't I don't have a, an answer for this question. Uh -huh. Yeah. If the ring is co and Macaulay, then uh, and if uh, it is okay if the ring is Cohen Macaulay, but if the ring is not Cohen Macaulay, I don't know. I see. Okay. Yeah. If the ring is Cohen Macaulay, okay. 
so uh, i mean are there some numerical criteria um do you believe the katzman sharp conjecture yourself mm. uh, i'm not sure but uh, uh, here uh, for katzman sharp question i hope at least uh, this question have a positive answer in the case the dimension of non cohen macaulay lucut is one at most one okay so dimension of non cohen macaulay lucas is at most one i think it should be true yeah. 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 and and did you say that this is not even known in dimension one so it no sorry it no for dimension one yeah yeah of course of course because one dimension uh, is then like Cohen Macaulay. Okay. Right. But dimension two, we do we know it? Mm, no, I uh, in dimension two. No, I, I don't know. I, I haven't never checked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know. But uh uh, uh the question and the question here uh, but uh, but i think this question should be have a positive answer this question this question about the app injectivity should be mm -hmm. a positive answer yeah, yeah. so uh you know for f rationality uh, there was a result which we said that if length of if you have a parameter ideal q and yeah. uh, um, the multiplicity is length of r mod q star yeah yeah then 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 it is f rational so do we have a similar result about f injective rings oh, so sorry i i don't understand the question you know uh, there was a numerical criterion for f rationality in terms of length of r mod q star yeah yeah uh, yes length of uh, mod Q star. I uh, talk about the result of um, Professor Watanabe and Yoshida. Yes, yes, yes. So and do we have analog of for for uh, F injective rings? Ah, for F injective ring. Yeah, I I I don't know. I don't know. That is, if you have equidimensional ring, so that the multiplicity of a parameter ideal is yeah, yeah. Of R mod Q F. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I'm just looking for numerical criteria for uh -huh. injective rings on one single parameter ideal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. I, I, I don't know any uh, the relation between. Uh, I, I I mean I don't know what is bigger uh, 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 between the length the co length of the Fourier curve of Q and the multiplicity of Q. Uh -huh. I, I mean don't we know. don't know the inequality. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. The inequality I I don't know. Maybe possess the water maybe maybe you know I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. Are there numerical criteria for uh, F injectivity? Uh, so I, I don't know. <laughs> I I have not uh, considered about that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I don't think uh, the the co-length of four binet color of Q is bigger uh, that less than uh, or equal to the multiplicity lies the tie color because the four binet color may be very small ah sorry yeah, so now if you, you consider the uh, sorry if you consider the f injective uh sorry yeah, uh, f theory then every parameter idea is of course is four binet color 
Tàu cô lang of Q QF is just the Q cô lang of Q Tàu we have that the cô lang in this case the cô lang is bigger than or equal to the multiplicity mm -hmm. Ok Yeah Ok uh, But now uh, you, 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 you can take another case is that the ring is Cohen Macaulay but not F injective then the colang now is less than the multiplicity yeah. yeah so it means sometimes the colang of covenant glow of Q quicker than the multiplicity sometimes it less than the multiplicity yeah and and uh, what about the analog of Hoxter Huniki theorem which which says that uh, in in excellent equidimensional ring formally equidimensional ring uh, the you know two one ideal i containing j have same tight closure if and only if they have same hilbert kunz multiplicity mm -hmm. so um, can we detect frobenius closure uh, via some kind of hilbert kunz multiplicity where you replace tight closure by i mean frobenius closure Mm. Oh. I, I I think uh, for uh, for Tycolo we know that um, Hochter and Huniki theorem about Hilbert Kuhn multiplicity, but here for Fourbenet Kolo, it uh, I think uh, Fourbenet Kolo it means we have a Fourbenet that exponent, Fourbenet that exponent. So it means the Hin Hilbert Kuhn function of i to f is the same with the hilbert kuhn function of uh, i sympathetically. Uh -huh. I mean, here, the Fourbenet glow, I think something, it have some similar with the, I think, Zaplitrit glow, Zaplitrit root glow in general. Yeah. Okay. Radley to glow is a, we have a same Hilbert function uh -huh. and uh, Hilbert function, but uh, for four minute glow is the same Hilbert Kuhn function. Okay, so we, we, we cannot detect. Yeah. Okay. Are there any other questions? If not, we, we thank Kwai for his excellent talk and uh, very interesting questions. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. I, I will send you my slide. Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Bye bye. Professor Verma? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, sh uh, sh uh, should we do it right now? Yeah, we can. We can do it. Uh, can you can you give me like uh, one minute? I'll just sh uh, shift it sure. to my laptop. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I'll be back.
हाँ जयंतन यू कैन स्टॉप ओके ओके 